outside, but it's right behind me. And uh, we're about to go in and get the freezer. Mum ordered this one from this company, Good Guys. I don't really like buying retail. I told her not to really buy retail and try and get a secondhand one, but she wanted a new one just to ensure it's gonna last and be around 10 years later, you know? So let's go in and get it. I'm in the electronics section. I wanna see if I can find the vlogging camera that I wanna get eventually. Here's a Sony. That would be pretty cool. This is the one similar to what I have now. I think the camera that I do want to get eventually is the Canon G7X, but I'm going to buy that secondhand, never buy retail, except for maybe a hard drive. So we've got the Westinghouse. What brand is it? WCM2000WD. Strapping her on. Yeah. So we're just stopping to get some fuel, hopefully you can hear me. But the freezer that we did have kind of screwed itself up and it no longer works. So we're using the small little freezer that sits on top of the fridge, but it's good to get this new one because now we can have some frozen food in the freezer and not uh, have to try and live off rations. Okay guys, so a bit of an update. Let me just pause this for a sec. So we got home and installed the new freezer. It's up and running. We have some bread and some butter in the freezer, getting nice and solid. I'll have to show you guys that. But I wanted to update you guys with what I'm working on right now. Other than putting up some listings on eBay, I have also been doing my research. I really believe if you're a reseller to do some kind of research which is going to enhance your knowledge of potential brands that are worth money. So then you can keep an eye out for those type of products when you go to thrift stores or wherever you go to source your products because if you know more then you're going to make more and one of the goals that I've set for myself is for every Sunday because Sunday for me is sort of a more of a laid-back day where it's more of a reflection day uh, working on improving myself and making myself better maybe reading a book watching YouTube videos that are educational and that are going to help me improve so one of the things i've been working on today is just going through the ebay sold listings in particular categories for example men's shirts and just scrolling through seeing what's sold and i make sure it's above 25 australian dollars because i want to make the product worthwhile picking up so it's worth my time anything above 25 30 bucks is a pretty good find for me and that's what my goal is to find something in that range so for example what i do is i head over to ebay and i type in men's shirts so to make my time more productive, I'll search a different category because I've made a list of quite a few brands in regards to men's shirts, which I'll show you guys soon after I give you guys this example. So I'm gonna search men's jeans. I do sell a lot of men's clothing. And then I'm gonna head down to the left side here, click on pre-owned, and then I'm gonna click on sold. You can also click on completed listings as well to figure out what has sold and what hasn't sold, but I just wanna find what's sold. Or well, actually, I'll change this as well. So I'll, I want to make at least 30 bucks or more on any particular item, or I want to sell it for $30 or more. So what I'm doing now is just scrolling through, looking at the brands, Lee Jeans, Nudie Thin Fin, good brand there. Then I'm going down again, Taylor Stitch. I've never heard of that one, so I'll write that down. And all the ones that I know, I'm kind of still writing them down just to cement that in my head. And then I'm going through G-Star Raw. Hugo Boss, Levi's, Armani Jeans. And I just keep going down, listing all the brands that I see. Now I could keep going and I could probably make videos like this in future, just like brand research videos. But there is heaps of content out there of people doing this. And the best way to learn is if you just do this practice yourself. And it's always good to improve. And this is a really good way to further your knowledge. And there's just pages of research that you can do. But I find that's a really good way to learn brands and that's what i've been doing most of today but this is a list of the brands that i've just been putting down for men's button front shirts or polo shirts or any kind of men's shirts and i've just made lists upon list of brands so then i can learn the brands and then uh see if i can find them in the thrift and i've also been focusing on how i can sort of change my business model in regards to making more profits selling online 
I've just been working on coming up with some ideas and stuff and I've, I've realized that maybe I need to source maybe some lower end products because most of the products I've been sourcing in my business model are high end products that sell for eighty hundred dollars and I've been sort of neglecting the maybe fifteen to twenty dollar profit ranged items and they could be the bulk of the business if I just focus on getting bulk of those items because there is quite a lot of them out and it's an opportunity that I've been missing and that does add up eventually if you sell you know multiples of that sort of range it's going to add up it's not like I'm doing that much work in regards to photos and listing it's pretty quick work it's done in a day once I've found the items so so I've just been considering that too but here is the freezer it's what it's looking like all set up but that's it for today's video thank you for watching if you enjoyed it make sure you give me a thumbs up and also put a comment down below if you have any questions see you guys in the next one